In this video, I'm showing you how you easily can set up your iPhone for Apple log shooting and also how you can color grade it later in post. So I'll show you two different ways of color grading Apple log footage in Final Cut Pro. The first way of doing it is using my LUT and a couple of tweaks to make it pop and look even better. The second way of doing it is actually using the built-in conversion LUT or conversion in Final Cut Pro and also just grading it from there. Both ways are super easy and straightforward and I hope you enjoyed this video. With that being said, let's go. All right, so first things first, you wanna go in your camera settings, you go to record, and then you make sure that you have it on PAL if you are in the PAL region, if not, you can switch it off. And then you can go down to white balance and make sure that you have it on lock white balance. That means that your camera will find the white balance with the auto settings and then locks it when you start recording. Then your white balance won't be all over the place when you start recording. So I highly recommend using that. The next thing you do is to go to formats. Just make sure that your Apple ProRes is switched on. So now you are pretty much set to shoot Apple Pro Res, um, but what I recommend you guys to do is to underexpose the image a little bit because iPhones on the native app tends to overexpose. So I underexpose by 1.3, 1.7, at least minus 1.0. So then you're good to go and you're ready to color grade. All right, so this is Apple Log straight out of my iPhone 15 Pro Max and um, it's pretty well exposed as you can see here in the waveform as well. Uh, and I underexposed this by 1.3 or 1.7. I'm not quite sure, but I exposed 1.3 at least. Yeah, so first thing you do is to download my S-Log to R conversion LUT, link in the description below, and then you can slap it on the clip like this. Boom, and it looks pretty good already. Like I haven't done anything to the footage yet. This is just a, a S-Log conversion LUT, but it works with Apple Log because iPhones use Sony sensors before, after, before, after. And I could just leave it at that and you know, export this and upload this because it looks pretty good. But I wanna create a little bit more contrast here by adding a color wheel. I drag down the shadows, I drag up the highlights and the midtones, and I drag down the saturation a little bit. So it creates a little bit more contrast in this image. And what I also can do is to add a little bit greens in the midtones, uh, like so, for example, and I can drag a little bit coolness in the shadows, and there you go. All right, so this clip right here is exposed evenly as well, so I underexposed this also, and boom, with my LUT apply, it doesn't look good, but you can fix this pretty easy. So what you do is to add a color wheel, drag down the shadows, you drag up the midtones and the highlights, and I drag down the saturation a little bit, and also added a little bit coolness in the global, which means that I'm adding blues in the whole image here to cool it off a little bit. And also, I added a little bit of greens in the midtones. Boom, that's how it looks. But to make this look even better, I added a mask in here. I can actually add things inside the mask and outside the mask. So inside the mask, I actually dragged up the highlights. That's the only thing I did here, is just to emphasize and make the face pop a lot more. And then on the outside, I actually dragged down the overall exposure and uh, dragged up the highlights a little bit as you can see here. And I did that to create a vignette effect around the subject and make the subject pop a lot more. Boom, before, after. Let me know if you guys wanna see a tutorial about using masks in Final Cut, because if somebody's interested in that, I might make a tutorial on that as well. Anyway, that's the before and after, before and after. All right, so let me show you how you can get a pretty similar grade using the built-in LUTs inside of Final Cut Pro. Tap the clip and just go up here and go to I for information. You can see information about this clip, but you can also apply a camera LUT. You can go in here and add Apple Log. Boom, there you go. Let me just apply this LUT in here as well. I go back to this clip right here go to the effects tab, I add a color wheel, and then I go in here and I drag down the shadows, I drag down the midtones, and I drag up the highlights a little bit. This will create contrast and it will stretch the image a little bit further. Boom, that's how that looks, pretty good. But we are not done yet. So what I wanna do here is to drag a little bit of greens in the midtones. I drag this a little bit down this way just a little bit and then I drag a little bit of blues in the shadows like so and then after that I'm not done there yet actually 
uh, I want to drag a little bit of blues in this whole image to cool it off a little bit like so and that is looking way way better in my own opinion maybe I can drag this a little bit back and drag more greens in here as well look let's see like so yes I love this look of course you can do different things if you don't like it that contrasty you can pull back the shadows like so and uh, maybe you can drag the highlights down you can drag the midtones back and if you don't like the blue colors you can drag this back down here or you can drag a little bit of warmth in this image you can drag more greens or you can drag some blues in the highlights there's a lot of things you could do to this image to make it look how you like it but if you drag a little bit magenta for example it looks pretty good as well so like i said there's many ways of doing this anyway on to the next clip So in here, pretty simple as well. Uh, what I did was to add a color wheel in the effects tab and I dragged down the shadows here. I dragged up the highlights quite a bit to stretch the image a little bit. And then I added a little bit of saturation in the midtones. I also dragged the global down to the teal side to add more coolness to this image because I think it was a little bit too warm. And in here, I added a little bit of greens in the shadows. And that's basically what I did. And this is how that looks, boom, before, after, before, after. Pretty happy with how this is looking, but I can do some more to this. So I added a new color wheel and I added a mask. I added a shape mask and that way I can create a vignette effect around here because as you can see, the image, I mean the painting is pretty dark and there's a lot of light around it. So it kind of takes away the focus that I want the viewer to focus on. So I have to dim the lights around the painting and make the subject pop. So I went in here and I added the add shape mask. I will not add another one, but yeah. So I dragged up the highlights in the inside, which means this is the inside because if I show you the mask, boom, this is the mask, right? If I show you the mask, this is the inside of the mask. And the inside of the mask is his face. So I dragged up the highlights in his face and then on the outside, I drag down the global, which means I'm dragging down the overall exposure outside of this mask. I'm not gonna pull it that far down, but I can actually put it, pull it a little bit like so. And I drag down the highlights, the midtones, and uh, drag down the saturation in the global as well to dim the, 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 the saturation of these colors. Go back to the inside and it can drag a little bit more highlights in his face and maybe make this mask a little bit smaller like so and boom there you go so this is the before and after the mask so the mask is really powerful and like i said if you want to see a tutorial on how to use mask i can make a video about it but yeah let me know if you guys want to see that anyway that's basically what i did so this is the before after before and after <music> That is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this Apple Log tutorial. If you have any questions, you know what to do. Leave them in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.